Channel 5's training cap coverage is supported by Lax Furniture, Benya Eye Institute, and PayneAutoGroup.com. And now sports with Brandon Ortega. Why are some of the other players, Jason, dealing with off the field issues and still on the Cowboys? Guys, this will be the last time I'll say it. I appreciate your interest in it. Uh, we made a decision yesterday in regards to Lucky Whitehead that we think is in the best interest of the Dallas Cowboys. We're standing by that decision. We're going to move forward. Never a dull moment with the Dallas Cowboys. Channel 5 Sports continues our coverage of Cowboys training camp. And with that, thank you for joining us. Yesterday, the big news from day one of camp, Cowboys cut Lucky Whitehead after reports came out he was arrested this summer in Virginia. Today, the story got flipped. Police cleared Whitehead, saying it was another Lucky Whitehead altogether that had been arrested. A bizarre story, to say the least, and fit for a team never too short on drama. We bring in Joel Vinueva. He is live in Oxnard. Joel, safe to say, Cowboys just want to move forward from this Whitehead story. Yeah, that is safe to say. If there's one thing we know about this team, there is always something to talk about. As you mentioned, Lucky Whitehead no longer with the Cowboys, and that just gives guys like Ryan Switzer an opportunity to shine on the football field and get some more reps. Uh, the Cowboys drafting Switzer in the fourth round this year, not because he was the biggest guy. Switzer stands at just five foot eight. No, they drafted Switzer because this kid has got some pep in his step. I'm really looking forward to having you know, a positive impact on this team, you know, wherever that may be, special teams, offense, uh, just contributing and doing my part. He could be a new dual threat for the Cowboys. Ryan Switzer is hoping to earn himself some playing time after a solid career at North Carolina. The rookie left the school as a program's all-time leader in receptions and receiving yards. Switzer says he wants to turn his potential into production. The best ones always find a way to, uh, to better themselves. The best love to compete. They always find competition. So whether that be going, ag going against our guys, whether that be preseason, whether that be you know, week one against the Giants, there's always competition. So uh, I got to make sure I stay ready and when my time is called, produce. At North Carolina, Switzer was also a first-team all-conference returner. A knack for making plays could make him valuable not only on offense, but also on special teams. As any great athlete does, you got to block out the noise, whether it be good or bad. You know, my job has always been to come in here and uh, do what I've always done, which is contribute, produce, and um, use my talents the way I know how. History has shown when Switzer gets the ball, he can deliver. The question now is, can he do it for the Cowboys? Yeah, and with Lucky Whitehead now gone, uh, all uh, experts here uh, expect uh, Switzer to have the inside track to get that return man job this season with the Cowboys. Last season, the Cowboys didn't have a single touchdown on punt returns or kickoff returns. Obviously, the Cowboys want to improve that this coming season. Well, that's a look at our sports update for now from Oxnard tonight at 10. We'll hear from Cowboys wide receiver Des Bryant as we continue camping with the Cowboys. Brandon, back to you.